Damien described the performance there just before the ad break as OK. OK. Better than OK for you or similar vantage point? It was a mixed bag, really. I just felt as if, I felt it was really good at times and then a lot of the times Scotland were in the ascendancy. Um, and then, as I said, you just can't uh, concede that many crosses without getting punished. And we have been punished twice. It's, it's just asks a lot for the defenders in the central areas to deal with them crosses for basically the whole night, wasn't it? Yeah. So that's where, as I said before, the wing backs can get overloaded. And I think Scotland's game plan, I think uh, it worked a treat on us. And was there anything that Ireland could do to try and prevent as many crosses coming in? Or do you think maybe they were happy enough to surrender the wings? Well, that's where you're relying on your, your outside midfielders to get out and support the, the wing backs. But it's a big, big shift for, for them three in midfield, mm. especially when at times when the, the wing back wasn't getting to the full back to close it down. Uh, Jason Knight seemed to be running out. So if they popped it into midfield, we're outnumbered in midfield, we go out to the other side. Mm. And then it was like, uh, you know, Doherty getting isolated. And in that, in that, in, in moments, Doherty got isolated quite mm. a bit. Yeah, the defendant, his to, his attempt to stop the cross on the first goal was yeah. was poor. But to be fair on that point, so if that's an inherent weakness in the system, you both liked the system pre-game. You said that's our system and now it's not good enough. So are we picking and choosing here? No, because in football you can't stop everything. You know what I mean? There's no system to fix everything. So you go wing backs, you're going to concede the wide areas. You've only got one there, especially if the other opposition are playing 4-3-3 three, three, or some variation where you have two players in the wide. But you pack in the middle of the box, you've got three centre-backs. One way of doing it is releasing one centre-back to go out and help the, the, the wing-back. But we don't do that. We keep them tight, we keep them narrow, we keep them in between the goal. With two number sixes, that's five in that area. You've got to deal with crosses, mm. unfortunately. you know. And if, you, if you're giving up that volume of crosses... no, I, I agree with Paul, the first one shouldn't have come in. I mean, that's nothing to do with the system. That's just uh, a lazy leg. Um, somebody that really is thinking, I don't want to go down the line with you, so I'm going to... Hope you cross it, you don't, he shifts it and he gets in along the end line and now he's time under no pressure to pick out a player. Now that's very, very difficult for the three centre-backs to deal with that because an unopposed cross from that area, when he's that deep and it's going behind you, it's very hard to deal with. So, you know, they got to do better, the wing-backs, to stop mm. the crosses, but also the, the, the defenders have to do more too.